That's enough for me. Solo with no research. It's a little tight in here. And with the history, a little creepy. So I'm heading back out. If you want to check out more of it, I don't know how far it goes. Knock yourself out. All right, I'm at the gas station at Two Guns. Really smells like urine. Cool graffiti though. Some cooler than others. Everything tells me not to open this. So let's do it. Because <laughs> when we try to do things right, it always ends up with a fight. Remnants of two guns. Graffiti's not my normal thing, but pretty cool anyway. Let's go check out the Apache Death Cave. If I can find it. Like most of my trips, I've done almost no research whatsoever. Didn't even know where I was going when I left today. Place is a little creepy, complete with creaky door. Not sure the history of the town. These ruins are obviously newer, but the cave, I believe it was an Apache raiding party that was down in this cave. That's where they stayed. And I think it was the Navajo that they had attacked and the Navajo pinned these, this group, this raiding party in the cave, killed them all. So that's why it's called the Apache Death Cave. That's gonna need a flashlight. Wow, there's a lot of rooms back in here. That's enough for me. Solo with no research. It's a little tight in here. <laughs> and with the history, a little creepy. So I'm heading back out. If you want to check out more of it, I don't know how far it goes. Knock yourself out. It's a little tight. <laughs> Not for the claustrophobic. Just down the road from Two Guns is Walnut National Monument, Walnut Canyon National Monument, something like that, Walnut something. So, been driving past all this stuff forever. I'm gonna stop and check it out. Probably gonna shock you, 
but I've done no research on this at all. <laughs> we'll see what happens. A lot of stairs here. Yeah, I got up easy, baby. Got no more time for loving you. There are just ruins everywhere. It's pretty cool. Lots of stairs. No more pain, no more worries. Got no more time for loving you. Goes down. Let's go up. Walnut Canyon was cool. Everything was paved and lots and lots of stairs, lots of people. You know, it's an on-rails type of an experience. But it, what I thought was really cool was you're walking along this band with all these Indian ruins and just look up across the canyon and they're just more everywhere. It's just amazing to think about how they used to live and what it must have been like back in the day when those were habited. Definitely worth a stop. It was only like a, I think a mile and a half and two, 300 feet of elevation gain, 45 million steps. Didn't count those exactly. Felt like a lot. Anyway, let's see what I can find next. All right, now let's check out Sunset Crater. <laughs> Surprisingly, no homework done. So I'm gonna read this and hopefully figure out what I'm doing. It is a volcano crater. I think it'll be hard to miss. This is wild. Just in the middle of a big lava flow. Not really sure where I am right now. And now I'm lost. Maybe. I don't know. This thing is impressive. I'm the only one out here in the middle of nowhere. That was the Wukoki Pueblo. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. So I'm in Wupatki National Monument now, right next to Sunset Crater. And just checking out all the different Pueblos and ruin sites. That one, that was really impressive. Cool stuff out here, in the middle of nowhere. You know, somebody knew, I didn't know.
quad key was really cool. I mean, if you see any pictures of that, it makes it look like it's flat, you know, like maybe a couple foot tall walls. But as you can see from the video, it's an intact structure. I mean, I mean as far as ruins go. So really cool. I think there's one more Pueblo before I get out of here. And then I have to decide if I camp or this often happens when I'm solo camping and close to home, I change my mind and go home. So we'll see. I may camp in the woods, check out Sedona tomorrow. I may stop by El Patillo, bring Mexican home for uh, Tina. Either way, good day and no plans. I mean, I did not plan any of this and I did that on purpose. I kind of just wanted to go out and explore, had some general idea of the area and things I might want to see, no idea how long they would take, really what to expect. And it's been great. I've been in a cave, I've been in a lava field, I've seen a volcano, uh, I've seen a lot of Native American ruins driven right past this stuff for years. So, got anything to take away from this? Get out and explore. It's cool shit out here. Thought you'd be the one for me. Won't you tell me how you I was promised a volcano crater. Don't need crater trail. That's the overlook. Not climbing that. Yeah, if I hadn't have decided to drive back to Phoenix on the 17, that line of cars trying to get off an 89A to get to Sedona would have made up my mind for me. Not sitting in that traffic, I'm going home. After El Patillo. You and I should be the ones to learn All I want to say Ain't no good to look the other Mexican way. food <laughs> Hey, act like you like that you got Mexican food I'm so stoked about Mexican food. <laughs> of course you are. And also I look awesome right now. <laughs> Uh, Tina works tomorrow. She wanted to do some stuff around the house, so I'm just gonna go out and explore. Right now I'm exploring the incredible traffic of the I-17. Love the I-17. But I want to take a second and do a public service announcement that is inspired by the I-17. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen these signs that say, slow traffic, keep right, but apparently a large percentage of the people driving the I-17 have not seen that and are not familiar with the concept. Uh, again, the sign says slow traffic, keep right. It does not say slow traffic, keep left. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, please Google it and it's gonna blow your mind. Slow traffic, don't keep left. Slow traffic, keep right. Do your part, make our world a better place. Thanks for listening.